these are my uh, giri raja hens and uh, we have kept uh, just enough for a family of 4 or 5 that is i have about uh, 10 hens and one uh, rooster and then uh, in the coop next to this or there some uh, 10 adolescents are getting ready and uh, this whole setup is extremely low cost and uh, we get nice eggs now what we have done we have about uh, 50 feet by 50 or 60 feet uh, area is marked and then we made a gate to come into the plot bamboo gate and then uh, this fish net has been put to keep the predators away this kind of you get this damaged uh, fish net for about uh, 200 rupees a kg that is after this fishermen in the sea when the nets get uh, quite torn they sell it off and then that we can get and then reinforced with some uh, of this metallic uh, mesh and then uh, this rooster is a bit aggressive and then for the hens in the afternoon it gets quite hot so we made a little uh, shade with this uh, coconut fronds so that in the hot sun they can come out and uh, if you can if you can uh if there's a tree in that uh, enclosure it's nice we have one tirocarpus tree here big one that gives us some amount of shade and then uh, this is the place where they sleep in the night and this uh, we have put this mosquito mesh for the door to protect them some pests as well as to decrease the mosquitoes and inside the coop uh we have two three little windows two on one side and the other one this side and uh for the flooring we put lot of dry leaves which we have in plenty because there's uh, surrounding the border we have planted lot of trees they shed the dry leaves so by putting a layer of them on the floor this chicken come in and they are locked up here in the nights whole day they roam around and uh, the door is kept open they can come and rest also here and uh, inside in the whole night after they eaten all day long they do quite a bit of their uh, nut, uh, chicken poop this chicken uh, they are birds in general their uh, stools contain the urine and the fecal matter so it's a, they don't have a separate uh, urine system so it's a very good uh, manure and then uh, after they do the dropping for about 15 days then this leaves get quite powdered up and uh, soaked in their uh, waste and uh, this is a extremely nice method because the inside the coop it smells sweet and nice there's not a hint of uh, that sh chicken shit uh, smell so it's uh, quite uh, hygienic and nice and then the these dry leaves absorb all the the chicken waste and it's a semi liquid so it gets mixed up nicely and uh, once in few days you can add another extra layer on top and uh, say once in 15 days or 20 days the whole thing can be swept off and uh, you get some excellent manure which is uh, organic manure without any contamination and uh, that can be used for these vegetable gardens and uh, all and uh, 
the scoop is about uh, six feet tall with the asbestos sheet on top for the roofing and then you have to seal off all these these places because snakes can get in and uh, you have to provide some water fresh water to drink every day water has to be changed and then uh, during the night also the one some water has to be kept inside for them to drink because they've eaten all day long they might feel thirsty in the night and the main thing to remember is that uh, all kind of creatures want to eat these hens from uh, humans to bandicoots rats even crows come to steal the eggs and uh, mongoose and the iguana eagles and uh, stray dogs outside dogs if they can come in cats all every creature wants to get a bite of your hands so you have to ensure that it's completely sealed off this uh, fish net and then the rain behind that that uh, metallic mesh this is all quite cheap and you can get second hand also and then uh, having this uh, coconut front roof it prevents the cow crows can't come in easily and go into the coop and in the side we made some little space for them to go and lay the eggs here and then you have to provide some calcium that is this uh, the seashells uh, kind of semi powdered so they get the calcium supplement whenever they need they come and eat a little of that and uh, the food we are giving uh, this uh, wheat uh, bran and uh, some rice and some ragi powder and uh, they eat approximately about 200 grams each every day and uh, we get about uh, with the 10 hens with 10 hens you get about 2000 eggs per year that means uh, 200 eggs per month almost so that's enough for a family and this giriraja eggs are a bit larger and uh, they lay 175 eggs average per hen so you get many or eggs and these hens also we don't cut them and eat but people can if they want this is a excellent way to generate some uh, fresh uh, good quality manure for these small gardens and also i got uh, one uh, sentimental goat this uh, goat uh, she's called jackie and uh, she's been with us for almost 15 or uh, 17 years and uh, i got her uh, this is a dwarf variety they don't grow big and uh, every year she used to have 3 to 4 kids now last 2 3 years since she's become old we have stopped the all that mating and all so she doesn't have any more children she's retired but uh, this she also gives a very good manure and her coop is there that small shed is where she is and she stays with the juvenile hens were all inside there now resting i don't know if she's able so a couple of these uh, dwarf goats and uh, some 10 or 15 uh, hens will generate a sufficient manure for the for a 2 acre or 3 acre farm that's more than enough apart from the eggs and all and every day we give them some amaranthus uh, and some grass for them to eat so that they get their uh, coat of fiber this is uh, amaranthus yesterday what we have fed and this is the remnant ivat idna kochi hakbek aita nodbena hengagutte anta i dodod dod piece adu tinnak aagta illa 
ಹಣ್ಣು ಕೊಚ್ಚಿಬಿಟ್ರೆ ಕತ್ತಿ ತೊಗೊಂಡು ಸೊ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಕೆ ಜಿ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ರೀನ್ಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ದಟ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ದೆಮ್ ದ ಅಯರ್ನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫೈಬರ್ ವಾಟ್ ದ ನೀಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ದೀಸ್ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಫ್ರೆಶ್ ಗ್ರೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಎನ್ಶೋರ್ ದಟ್ ದೇ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡೈಜೆಸ್ಟಿವ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಲೂಸ್ ಮೋಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡೋ ಬಾಡೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಹೀಟೆಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಒನ್ ಆರ್ ಟು ಡ್ರಮ್ ಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಇನ್ಸೈಡ್ ದ ಕೂಪ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ಯೂರ್ ದೇರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ತ್ರೀ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ಸೈಡ್ ದ ಚಿಕನ್ ಕೂಪ್ so and uh, better locate it close to the human habitation because they need to be looked at periodically sometimes snakes do get in so make your chicken coop uh, quite close to the where people are staying and have it in a place with some trees so that it doesn't get very hot in the summer and uh, they get some shade that's the chicken coop from the side 